Well, a lot of people around the world are putting themselves in the same situation. They complain of police brutality, racism, systemic discrimination, and there have been protests in solidarity with George Floyd uh, in about a dozen countries now. There are more demonstrations here in London tomorrow, and in each country, there are slight differences. In Brazil, for example, in Rio de Janeiro, people were out on the streets. They were complaining about police brutality in favelas, in the very tough slums that are on the outskirts of Rio. And these neighborhoods, they say, are systemically targeted by police. Paramilitary forces go in looking for drugs and gang members and often kill many people. And when they were out on the streets, they were saying, our lives matter just like black lives lives matter in the United States. Uh, in Jerusalem, Palestinians were protesting after an, uh, the Israelis shot dead a disabled man over the weekend, and, and they said it's the same kind of systemic uh, oppression. Then there is, however, a different kind of, uh, of reaction that is primarily coming from America's adversaries. So not a reaction in solidarity to what's going on in the U.S., but a, uh, an attempt to use the unrest and the these, uh, the very chaotic images as a hammer to hit American society and to, ha to hit at uh, the American political system. And, and that's primarily coming from uh, Russia and, and China and Iran saying, look what's going on in the U.S. Don't throw stones when you live in such a glass house. Richard Engel in London. Richard, thank you so much. Uh, and Chuck, we're walking up the street in Broadway. And just look, these are these are uh, uh, storefronts that are now all boarded up. Uh, just yesterday, a lot of these storefronts uh, had broken glass because this is where a lot of the looters came and, and targeted. There was a police car along this street that was completely burned out, the one that was right in front of uh, Broadway, which is just, I guess, a couple doors down from where I am. But again, Chuck, I want to emphasize, this protest right here is peaceful. Good deal. Thank you, Katie. And as we see these nationwide demonstrations, remember, our country is still battling the coronavirus. But Dr. Anthony Fauci says he and the president don't talk that much anymore. We're going to head back to the White House next.